Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. So we are nearing the 60 day cycle of the launch of this wonderful device, the OnePlus 5T and the custom ROMs have been flowing left, right and center. At the same time, there have been some custom ROMs which are having a lot of problems and maybe I cannot recommend them as your daily driver and probably that is the reason I might have done an install guide but I did not completely review them. So today is the day when I'm going to review the first ever custom ROM on my channel for the OnePlus 5T. Now this will be a short as well as detailed review because I know something like custom ROM if you're going to review it for like 15 minutes it gets boring and some basic questions like you should be using this ROM as your daily driver or not should be answered in that 5 to 7 minutes of review which I should be able to cover as well. Now what we're going to talk about today is how stable this ROM is. Can you use this as a daily driver or not? How good is the battery life and critical things like how's the camera? I'll be including a few camera samples. Now I found the camera to be satisfactory except for the low light. That might not be the case for you. At the same time my battery life usage I liked it but then again you might not like it. So performance, battery life, camera and overall stability. These are the things that we're going to talk about in this particular review. Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. Let's review Codename Phoenix for the OnePlus 5T. Alright guys, so here it is the Phoenix ROM review. Now as you can look at the screen, I'm running Phoenix ROM. So let's first go to settings and then let's go to system about. So Codename Phoenix, this is the ROM for you guys. This is the latest update that I was able to get my hands on. And it is not available on XDA, but it is available on the Google Plus community. So you can go ahead and download it off there. Now talking about the pros and cons, I will share the pictures. Now there has been a lot of requests that I've got that uh, you need to tell us how's the camera review does things like that. But then again, before we begin, what I'd like to say about the camera right off the bat is uh, it is not exactly as clear or as precise as the stock ROM of course but then you can make do if you're not into too much photography and you know you can make do without probably a portrait mode and you can use the lens blur instead of that let me just show you the camera UI real quick so this is the camera that comes with the phone and if you tap here you have something called as lens blur so if I were to click this picture for example Coming to the next point that I want to talk about is smoothness. Now that is what gets me at least into custom ROMs. Now I understand Oxygen OS is completely stock Android based and it is as fast as probably a third party operating system can be but um, AOSP ROMs well they have something totally different. I don't know if it's the code, it's the optimization, if it's something else. What I've loved the most about Phoenix ROM is its snappy behavior. It is so smooth that you will really really love it and when you go back to Oxygen OS or probably the Arbita you will realize that it is not as snappy as this is. Now obviously I have installed a Google Pixel launcher on it and you can always find that on the internet and install it and use it. Now leaving that aside when we talk about a ROM review, one of the most important and strongholds that comes to our mind is the battery life, which I'm happy to report is going great for me. Now at times you will find that there are some custom ROMs which will give you battery life which is better than stock but hey we are not there yet when it comes to the OnePlus 5T because it's a new device less than, less than two months in the market right. So if we go to battery, where is battery? Okay. All right, so it says about 11 hours and 6 minutes left and last full charge was 16 hours 1 minute ago. I've used the screen almost for 3 hours. So looking at these statistics, it would give me at least 6 hours of screen on time over a usage period of say around 26 or 27 hours. So what that signifies is it definitely can get you through a daily usage pattern 
with ease. There will not be any problems at all when it comes to the battery life. So the battery life is brilliant. So the camera, I've shown you the images. The battery life is brilliant. So that, that answers the two most important questions. Now talking about annoying bugs here, there will be a few bugs when it comes to custom ROMs. For example, yesterday when I was trying to turn on hotspot or when I was trying to use Wi-Fi or USB tethering, it was not working for me. At times, what I've noticed is, you know, if I if I tap the Play Store, someone, you know, sometimes the screen would go black and then it would come back on. So I've noticed the camera to black out at times, the screen to black out at times. Now these are the bugs that I have come across of my daily usage. Apart from that, Substrantum is working fine for me. Root access, Magisk modules are working fine for me. Um, even if you don't wish to root it, you can definitely use it. There are no random reboots. Yes, I'm happy to report there are no random reboots and there is not a particular issue which should stop you from using this as a daily driver. Now, apart from this, let's talk customizations. Now, when you talk customizations, before we go inside or we go to the notification bar, you see this? This is a very, very nifty feature that I like. You will see that instead of the three navigation bars, I just have one. That's because this is the multitasking menu. This is used to go back. This is the quick switch. There you go. So this is basically a built-in feature in Phoenix ROM, which allows you to use multiple gestures and you know, it, it makes your phone usage very, very intuitive and very, very much fun to use. So that is one thing that I really, really liked about Phoenix ROM. Now let's go ahead and see customization options. Now, before we jump into settings and see customization, let's go ahead and tap the edit option in quick tiles. See what we have here. I've not even done it yet. You have battery saver, do not disturb, NFCs, usual stuff, invert colors, data saver, cast, LTE, caffeine. I don't know what caffeine is. You have PIP over there. You have screenshot, ADB over network, heads up, screen recording, expanded desk desktop. So things are there and you can go ahead and rearrange them. So as far as customization is concerned, if that is the name of the game for you, you want a lot of customization from a ROM on OnePlus 5T. At the same time, you want stability and you can make do without a great or awesome camera app. Well, this is the ROM you should go to. Now, the reason that I have chosen this ROM to be the first one to review is because it has voice over LT working. It has all the 95% of basic functionality that you would want to use a ROM as your daily driver. Now let's go ahead and dive into settings and let's see what else we have. So this is how the Android 8.1 settings look. If you go to personalization, see you have status bar, you have brightness control, selector notification, warning color, ADB, network traffic, you can enable or disable that. And then if you go back, you have quick settings. So these are all the options that you have for quick settings. Then you have buttons, volume rockers. You can choose what to do with the volume rockers there. Then you have navigation bar. So you can completely disable navigation bar. See, but I don't choose to do that because I don't like gestures that much. Now, when, you, when it comes to navigation mode, if you want, you can go back to stock. You can go back to smart bar. That is something probably built in the ROM and that is fling. Now fling is something I'm using and you know, if you want to see how it works, there you go. Right short swipe is recent, right short swipe, right long swipe is assistant, left lo long swipe, I've not set it up. So it's basically very, very intuitive and it doesn't, you know, uh, make your phone look very ordinary because most of the Android phones which have a 18 to 9 display and on-screen buttons will have some similar layout. So if you want customization, this, this is what probably will make your screen look different compared to others. Now, then we have gestures, a whole lot of gestures that we have. You have lock screen, power menu, recents app. You can choose different types of recents, notifications and miscellaneous. Let's see what miscellaneous has. Okay. You have wake lock blocker, alarm blocker and stuff like that. You have app ops as well and device features. Off screen gestures, DCIP3 mode, natural color mode. So that is the beauty of 
Phoenix ROM. And as I said, I will not be, you know, making this review extremely, extremely long so that you don't get bored of it. But then again, here's my verdict. Here's the verdict by smartphone tutorials when it comes to Phoenix ROM. If you want to try a custom ROM, and if you are concerned that which ROM you should be trying, well, my suggestion would be go for Phoenix ROM first. I've made an install guide on it. There is nothing that you would miss apart from the beautiful, beautiful camera that comes in stock. Apart from that, you will be able to make do with the battery life. You will love the smoothness. You will love the customizations and you will love everything else. So from our end, this is a go, a definitely, definitely highly recommended ROM when it comes to custom ROMs that you should try. Apart from that, if there's anything that I missed in this particular video, guys, I've just started reviewing ROMs and uh, if there's something you would like me to change or you would like me to include, please go ahead and mention that in the comment section and share your feedback. And before I go, don't forget the giveaway for the Xiaomi Redmi 5A is on. If the channel makes it to 4,000 subscribers by the end of January 2018, I will be giving away one brand new Xiaomi Redmi 5A. Thank you for your time, guys. Goodbye. Peace.